Good Saturday morning, y'all. This is Saturday thing 103. Uh, thanks to Willow's Garden. She she won last week's, but she told me to buy tools. She said, don't buy anything for your wife. Keep it for yourself and buy tools. That's what she said, I swear. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, tomorrow I will have a rant. 76 commenters. Leatherwood Land. You know what to do. Contact me at bctruck at gmail.com with a link to $35 or less for something you'd like on Amazon. And don't forget to tell me the address where you'd like it sent. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a whole bunch of clips added to this. Just knife making clips over the week. Actually, it was probably yesterday. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll have a rant. Have a good weekend, y'all. So this is Doug's Ironwood. Look how pretty that wood is going to be. That's the inside. I know there's a still a saw blade mark, but you won't see that. That's the inside. And these aren't the pins I'm using. I'm just using these pins to hold the two halves together while I give them their basic shape. Hard to do looking through the viewfinder. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to etch my uh, BC Blades logo. I hope I don't mess this blade up. Here we go. Okay, there is one hurdle over. I didn't ruin the blade. Now the next hurdle is, I've got these Texas pins. <laughs> there we go, no? Where's it's hard to see which way is the right way. I'm going to have to look at that friggin' map. Okay, so only one side is the is Texas. You get what I'm saying? When you turn it around, it's not Texas. How am I looking at this wrong? Okay, it's got to be the other way. There we go. Okay, so what I got to do is cut these pins to basically meet in the middle and I'll put them in you know the right way this way and then I'll turn the knife over flip the pin over where the right side of Texas is showing then put them in the right side that way and then I've got to clamp all the pins together so the epoxy doesn't sort of ease the the pins out as they're as the epoxy is drying and at the same time, I've got to put clamps on to hold the ironwood clamp to this. You know what I didn't do? <laughs> I'm glad I thought of this. I've got to uh, finish the noses of these. I've got to put my 30 degree angle on them. And uh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, let me uh, go back to the sander. But in a few minutes, I'm going to be epoxying the handles onto these. So we're getting there. And in between all the waiting, you know, uh, the tempering and the, actually the, yeah, the tempering, I did a little work on this Caddo, and I got the uh, 60 grit scratch of sanded out of it up to 120. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the 180 grit and then put it to the side and uh, go to working on this here. First, I think I'll have a cup of coffee because my hands are nowhere near shaky enough. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous because when you get a blade to this point, you have really invested, uh, you know, four or five days of work into it. And to ruin a blade that's this far along is really shameful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 
I'm not going to divert from this. I'm not going to work on that until I have the handles epoxied on this. But I'm going to stop a minute, take a breath, drink a cup of coffee, and uh, prepare my mind for this. Okay, I've got my Texas pieces. There we go. All cut into the lengths I need them to be. We've got this sanded. Now we've got to take it into the buffer and uh, buff the ends of these. Let me blow that dust out of there real quick. All right, let's go to the buffer and shine these up. Well, I used uh, Green Rouge and then I used my brand new pink scratchless buffing compound and that is going to be Purdy, purdy wood. Golly, that's going to be so nice. I cannot wait to get this shaped. Okay, I'm excited. Let me go. Uh, isn't that going to be some beautiful wood? Look at the grain. It's like, well, they call it iron wood. I was going to say it's like iron. <laughs> but they call it iron wood for a reason. Okay, let me go. Uh, I'm going to go start the epoxy process. Boy, I'm excited. All right. Let's get her done. Okay. I've got uh, my pins all set up. I've got the edges chamfered just a tiny little bit so they'll fit in there. Let's uh, get my epoxy mixed up. First, I'm going to get my clamps, clamps out and get them set up where I can get them quickly. And then, uh, mix the epoxy and go to work. Let's, let's uh, get this thing glued up. All right. We will see you in uh, oh, about 20 hours. And we'll unwrap it and have a look. I don't think I'll be doing this again. The only other option was to let, uh, you know, the, uh, the side of the knife that has my logo, which would be the, the right side or the knife facing out when you would have it in your hand or in the sheath. The only other way to do this is have the Texas facing out on that side and then backwards on the inside. But that's kind of silly. It just it wouldn't look right. So we'll see how this works. I may be giving the man his money back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, I, I think I already, yeah, I, sh I showed you that. That's the uh, Texas Special, BC Special Knife, Texas Edition, uh, glued up, drying. I'll, be, I'll get back on that tomorrow. This is Eric's Dinner Skinner that I have sanded up to 180 with Desert Ironwood. Uh, this is uh, Jesse's that... I'm going to start on in the morning. I just don't have any more sanding left in my arms today. And I'm going to bring that up to 180. And then I will start on the, the uh, BC Special Texas Edition behind me. And uh, I don't think I'll get any further than that. I think I'll be able to get these two... I think I'll be able to get that one sanded, and that's if everything holds together and the pins are, you know, tight. And uh, I'm, the more I think about this, the more I'm thinking this just may not work. <laughs> Splitting the pins in the middle. I mean, the, the epoxy is pretty incredible. But, uh, you know, I got to put these through. I got to put them up against the uh, belt grinder to grind all the pins down to the surface of the of the wood and then I've got to sculpt the wood you know back from here back so they're gonna to have to take a lot of, of uh, heat and abuse and vibration and banging around so we'll see I mean uh, the bottom line is if I have to return the man's money that's just what I'll do or uh, you know I, I don't you know if the pins come out there's no fixing it other than maybe 
maybe drilling these out and putting solid brass pins in. But then it's not a Texas edition, but it will have desert ironwood. We'll see. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to stop thinking about it. And uh, we'll be out here tomorrow. I may not get right on it. I may give it an extra, you know, two or three hours of drying in the morning to uh, let it harden even more. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll get to work on, uh, was it Errol's neck knife? Uh, Eric's I got up to 120. Jesse, Jesse's. Yeah, I'll get Jesse's up to uh, from 120 to 180. And uh, that'll give me an hour or two. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. See you tomorrow. Um, um. This really is relaxing watching ducks. I don't know why that is. And uh, the chickens are over there in their little tub of dirt having a good time. Having a, having a dirt bath. So, in a few minutes, I'm going to go uh, get that handle together. I know this is going to sound corny, but sometimes I have these incredibly warm feelings of gladness and joy and happiness in my heart even though the garbage people suck, and even though I hurt everywhere, I'm still very, very thankful. It's a beautiful day. I have a dog that I love on my lap. The woman I love is out here tinkering in the yard. I got a happy dog here. A happy dog way over there in the sun. She likes being in the sun. Happy chickens, happy ducks, beautiful blue sky, a house that's paid for. Jesus loves me, a hobby I love. No matter how complicated life gets, you really got to take time to step back and uh, just feel thankful for the good things that are in your life. Okay. A couple more deep breaths and I'm going back to the shop. Put that handle on.